Okay, for this part, we will now be working on moles to molecules, which means we're going to convert moles to molecules or molecules to moles. Now, um, let's go back to the diagram I presented in part two of my video. Okay, so I recall, before you answer the problem, the word problem regarding mole concept, always remember to analyze the given and the unknown unit. So if uh, grams to mole or moles to grams, what, will, what are we going to use? Molar mass. One mole of a substance to its molar mass. Then now we will be focusing on this part. Okay? So if atom is given, then you need to convert that to mole or mole to atom, molecules to mole, mole to molecules. Always bear in mind that you will be using here the Avogadro's number, which is 6.02. Times 10 to the 23rd particle. Okay, so one mole is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particle. Okay, now I believe that this is a common problem for some of you, especially that it's difficult to teach this online. Okay, I'm trying my best here to give it to you. Um, where are we? Okay, here. I am showing to you two calculators. So if you have a scientific calculator, you need a scientific calculator. We'll be working with exponents. So how or how to press or what to press in your scientific calculator? So if we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, how do we change this to scientific notation in the calculator. So what you need to do is to press 6.02 first. Press 6.02. Then if you have this, okay, press that one, press times 10 to the X, or it, it is just the same as EXT. And then you press 23. That's all. Common mistake that the students, I encountered with the students when it comes to presenting their solution is this. They will press 6.02, then they will press multiplication sign, then they will press 10, then they will press EXP, or this one, I mean this one, okay? That is incorrect, okay? It means times 10 times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, again, let me review you. How to use, uh, how to place scientific notation or how to place the value in scientific notation in your calculator. So we have six, 0 0.02, press that, then press uh, times 10 to the X. If this is what you see in your uh, calculator or this one, EXP, and after which press 23. Is that clear? I hope so. Then that's the scientific notation. You try to practice that at home. Try to practice it on your own, right? So what if you have 3.57, uh, 3.5 rather, times 10 to the 18th, okay? Press or practice that in your calculator. Clear? Now, let's move on to the topic on converting moles to particles. So, let me remind you also, I need a space. That moles to particles, when we speak about particles, 
it is pertaining to atoms, pertaining to molecules, or formula unit. Okay? To formula unit. Now, my dear 9G, you have to analyze the kind of substance, the kind of substance that you are going to use. So, if you are given an element, elements, let's just say aluminum, then therefore, uh, aluminum, it means an element, the smallest particle of an element is atom. So we use the particle, the word atom for element atom. Okay? Element atom. Use atom. Now, if you have a molecular compound, if you have a molecular compound, let's just say um, CO2, it's a ionic bond, uh, a covalent bond rather, it's covalent bond, molecular compound. Therefore, um, this is expressed in molecules. The smallest unit of a molecular compound is molecule. Okay? So don't get confused with that. If you have, um, what if you have NaCl? Okay? You have two answers here. One mole of NaCl is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd formula unit of sodium ion, formula unit of chlorine ion, or chloride ion. Okay? That is for ionic compounds. Clear? So we refer this to particles. When you encounter this in a problem, again, analyze the kind of substance that is present in the problem. Is it an element? Is it a molecular compound? Is it an ionic compound? Is that clear? I hope so. Okay, next, let's move on to a sample problem. Or I have here three sample problems. I hope that you're going to go over with this one. Now, how many atoms of potassium are present in 78.4 grams of potassium? Oh, I'm sorry. I have to change this because if you're going to analyze, this is my third video. This is for the next video. Can I, I will just change this to the next. Okay. Oh no, I had presented. Uh, here, sorry. There. How many molecules are in 2.5 moles of C12H22O11? Now, analyze. It's a covalent bond, right? It's bonded covalent B. Therefore, it is described as molecule. So moles to molecules, moles to atoms. What are you going to use here? Avogadro's number. So we will write 2.5 moles of C12H22O11. Please be reminded that one mole of C12 of any atom of any substance there, H22O11, is equal to the Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecule of C12H22O11. Is that clear? Now, we put that in our factor label method. We use this conversion. We use this for our factor label method. Time. One mole of C12, H22O11, is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecule of C12, H22O11. Okay, we will do that. I hope you have with you your calculator. So I will press 2.50 okay, times 6.02 exponent 23. Then we have 
okay? 1.505, convert it to two decimal places for your final answer. Our answer here is 1.51 times 10 to the 24th. So let's analyze the units to be used here. Mole divided by mole is equal to one. So we are left here with molecule. Therefore, the answer is 1.51 times 10 to the 24th molecule, molecules of C12H22O11. Okay, can you see the difference of my previous video? Okay, to this video. Again, we're using here the Avogadro's number. Okay, we are using the Avogadro's number. Okay, next we have problem number two, sample problem number two. So we have here moles, 5.0 moles of sodium to be converted to atoms of sodium. Again, mole to atom. So atom is a particle, therefore, we will use one mole of Na, Na rather, is equal to uh, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd um, atom of sodium. Okay? It's an element. Therefore, it's an atom. We write the given 5.0 mole of Na. Again, we can use this way. It's your choice. So we place one mole here in the denominator so that it will be canceled later, or it can cancel, by the way, the mole in the numerator. So we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atom of sodium. Then use your calculator, you will press five times. Uh, it's in the numerator, numerator, therefore you will multiply 6.02 times our exponent 23. Okay, therefore the answer is 3.01 times 10 to the 24th atom of an A, okay? I hope uh, you are already uh, trying to digest this kind of problem. We still have another problem, another type of conversion, okay? Now, on the last example that I have here, okay, so still, is it particle to mole, molecule to mole, mole to molecule, something like that? Then use Avogadro's number. One mole of a substance of CH2O is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecule because of CH2O, CH2O covalently bonded. So we write the given 3.45 times 10 to the 23rd molecule of CH2O. Then we use this C symbol as a representation of multiplication and division. So we place here one mole. Why? Because that is the unknown. We put that in the denominator, CH2O. Here we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecule of CH2O. We cancel out the unit molecule divided by molecule is equal to one, okay? Now, Let's have the final answer. Okay, um, we have 3.45 exponent 23 times one 
since this is found below, then therefore that's in the denominator part. So we divide by 6.02 exponent 23. The correct answer is 0 0.57. 0 0.57 mole. I'm sorry, I have to write it here because I don't have space anymore. Mole of what? You have to identify the substance, CH2O. Okay, so 9G, that's how we convert mole to particles, particles to mole. Okay, please study the video, pause it for a while to review, mimic what I'm doing here so that uh, you get to understand the process of factor label method. Okay?